hello! <laughs> Welcome back for more makeup tutorials. Okay, so if you look, today we're doing eye makeup because I have eye makeup on one eye and not on the other eye. So if you ever wonder why I wear makeup, well, because when I don't, my eyes kind of disappear into my head. Okay, so we're going to learn a really, really basic out-the-door eye makeup look. So I'm using just a couple of products. I'm going to be using our, actually my contouring palette, which has our mineral press powders in it. So I've got a couple shades of contour in there. Um, I am also going to be using our Mary Kay Cream eye colors. And I'm going to be using our brand new um, gel eyeliner and mascara. And that's it. Super, super easy. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do, as we mentioned yesterday with our brows, um, I always do a tiny bit of um, under eye corrector just right below um, in the arch of my brow and that just helps to accent our brows. So I put that on there and then I'm going to add some cream eyeshadow to the base. Now basically I put cream eyeshadow on every single day on the base of my eyes. So when we talk about colors and we talk about placement, there's basically three different spaces on the eye where we decide what they're called basically. So we've got the space that goes between our lash line and our natural crease. That is your mid-tone, so it's kind of like the middle-ish of your eye. Then we have the highlight area, which is from natural crease to our brow, so this area here. And then our accents, when we refer to accent colors, we tend to refer to our defining colors. Our defining colors, we run around the perimeter of our lash line. So you can take every single color that you have in your makeup bag right now, and if they were all separated into little squares, um, such as the Mary Kay ones are, you can actually categorize absolutely everything. So your lightest colors are your highlights, your medium tone colors are your mid tones, and your accent colors are your darkest colors. So that um, helps to categorize everything. And then basically you're going to pick three um, tones. So you're going to pick one highlight, one mid-tone, one accent color. So you're dealing with three colors. Now you can, of course, this is a basic eye look. You can do a lot more than that. Um, but today we're just working with the three tones. Okay. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is you always go cream before powders. So the under eye corrector that I put on, which highlights the definition of my brows, that's a cream. And the cream eye color that I'm using as a base on my lid, I actually use this instead of a primer. So we do have eye primer, which is wonderful. I love it. But I actually love our cream eyeshadows as a primer ever so slightly more. And the reason I do that is because it adds a little bit of color. Our Eye primer is white, which is great, um, but when I'm putting on a certain look, let's say I'm going to be using purples that day, or I'm going to be using browns, or I'm going to be using, you know, pinks, or whatever I want, if I start out my primer having a little bit of tint in it, I'm actually that much further ahead for adding color. Okay, so I noticed my lighting's a little bit dark today, but that's okay. It's kind of cloudy outside. Okay. So this is just going on with the brush on my lid, just right from tear duct to tear duct, from lash line to natural crease. Okay, and super easy. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to do my highlight color. So my highlight color, I'm actually Today I am just using the um, Ivory 2 Mineral Press Powder. So I'm just using it kind of as an all over color, just up top, and then if a little gets on my brow, it really doesn't matter. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna use 
is R bronze just right along my natural crease. Okay, so let's talk about eye shape right now. Okay, so my eyes are round. So <laughs> there's a lot of different shapes that people's eyes can be, but the way you put your eye makeup on is dependent on your eye shape. So people with these perfect, beautiful almond eyes can do the really extended, um, gel liner look and they look amazing. Because my eyes are quite rounded, um, I can't extend out the edge without looking like I drew funny little wings. So I only extend my um, liner just barely out the edges and that's it. So I go any further, it just looks like um, they look out of place. Okay. So I've got, um, so I've got all my base on. So now I'm going to do my liner. So I am using our fancy little eyeliner brush. Okay, these do come with a brush, but I love our angled brush better. It's so much better. And I like the handle. The ones it comes with has kind of a short handle and that doesn't really work for me. Okay, so I dip it in and then I kind of just take the excess off. I've just got a um, cloth here and then I actually start in about the center and bring it across and my top line goes just out again this is completely dependent on eye shape and then I bring up from the bottom so I only do a little line on the outside edge and then I come back and do my center. And I bring my color right down to my tear duct. So it kind of depends, again, on preference. So that's how far out I bring my line. Okay, so now the next thing I'm gonna do to kind of pull this all together is I am going to add a little bit of color underneath. So just, um, I'm doing French Roast from our Mineral Eye Colors. And these are the little samples that you can buy. And I'm using our smudge brush. And just bringing that along, lightly along the lash line. And, and then I also do come in just to kind of blend it all together I actually come in and do just the insides right here of the eye and right along there just so I don't have lines kind of just hanging out it just gives them a starting and an end point okay now my eyes are starting to balance Okay, so now the next thing that I do is I actually add a little bit of highlighter. I just need to clean off one of my brushes here so I can do this. Add a little bit of highlighter just on the insides here. And that just helps to brighten the eyes and open them up. Now, if you have ivory skin like me, um, ivory skin tends to be see-through and so see-through skin we all have veins quite close to the surface around our eye area so these veins around our eye area is what causes a lot of the puffiness and discoloration around our eyes and so one of the things our eye cream does is help to shrink the puffiness around the eyes and pull that back but the fact that my skin is um, basically goes down to a really light ivory in the winter time doesn't <laughs> doesn't help with the transparency so with the transparency of my skin uh, we learned about melanin my skin doesn't have hardly any so I do a highlighting I do my under eye corrector under here and then I also use a highlighting powder just on the insides and then that just helps to brighten your eyes especially when you're doing a look where you're doing liner like quite a bit of liner you need to highlight the inside 
inside of your eyes. Okay, so now all I have to do is mascara. As we mentioned at our on our mascara section, I use two different kinds of mascara. So I love our lash intensity. So I use the straight side first that has the short little bristles. And then I turn it around and use the bristly side. Okay, and then, of course I smudged underneath, but I'll fix that in a minute. Um, and then I actually finish off um, with the comb from the Lash Love because I love that one. And actually because I do put mascara on my bottom lashes. And this tiny little brush works perfect for doing your bottom lashes. Okay. And we will clean up the mascara smudges. And voila. Done. Okay. So. That's a super easy, super simple eye look. So just to reiterate what we did, we just used a mid-tone just on the lid, and then I used the gel liner, smudged it across the bottom, and mascara. Okay, so a couple things just on our eye theme today. Our mineral eye colors are mineral. Um, they are actually infused with vitamin A, C, and E, because everything we have has vitamins in it. <laughs> um, minerals actually mean that they're actually basically ground from nature, then purified, <laughs> and then pigmented to create the different colors that we have. Now, everything in our line is mineral, and so that means the difference between our eyeshadow colors, our blush, our mineral powders, the base is all the same and it's just pigmented differently. So I know sometimes for a certain look I'll use a blush on my eye or I'll use, you know, um, a highlighter or I'll use like an eyeshadow as a contour color or as a highlighter on my upper cheeks. That's not bad, nothing bad will happen. Um, the base is identical, it's just the pigment that's different. So don't be afraid to use um, just mix it up a little bit if you're feeling creative. Okay, and now let's talk about eye shape and let's talk about facial symmetry. Because a lot of times um, people go, well, I don't know what my eye shape is, and I don't know what my face shape is. So, we talked in our very, one of our very early one, early classes about symmetrical and about symmetry and how we use makeup not only to accent our features but also to create symmetry. And so <clears throat> we addressed that when we were doing our lips <clears throat> because we wanted our lips to be symmetrical. So symmetry means equally balanced. So if you ever want to know, you know, are my eyes close set? Are they far set? Are they round? Are they hooded? Are they all these different things? An easy way to actually be able to tell is, now you can do this with a ruler. I'm just going to show you with my, with my hand. Okay, so you take the shape of your eye. So here's the shape of my eye. And then I go, does it fit between my eyes and then this eye? Okay, so basically, if tear duct to tear duct, this distance here fits perfectly between your eyes here, that means your eyes are what's called standard. If your eyes are closer together than the width of one eye, your eyes are close set, and if your eyes are further apart than the width of one eye, then your eyes are far set. Now all you do, <laughs> nothing bad happens, it's just you could potentially adjust your makeup accordingly. So if you had, let's say, close set eyes, you would not do eye color right up to the up to the edges like I do, you would actually use highlight up to the edges and just do colors on the outsides because you don't want your eyes to look even closer together. And same thing with far set eyes, you can do color all the way around because you can bring them closer together. So those are just some things. And then as far as measuring this way, you measure from lash line to crease and then crease to brow to see if your eyes are hooded or whatever, if your eyes are equal distance going this way as well. Okay, 
So that's just, and then you can adjust accordingly. Um, or you can just love the face you have and wear whatever you want. Okay, so that is our eye lesson for today. And I'm going to post the products that I use down below and some product information. Hope you have a great day. Bye.